So now we need to take the MIDI file that we've just created in Ableton Live and upload it to multitracks.com. I'm going to upload it to my multitracks.com cloud account so that the next time I do Living Hope inside of playback, the MIDI will automatically download with the song inside the app. So to do that, I'm going to go to multitracks.com, log in and hover over account. And then once I hover over account, I'm going to come down to library. Now library is now the place where all of our resources are saved in one easy to see place. So I'm going to search in the search bar inside library for Living Hope. Now Phil Wickham's Living Hope pops up at the top here and this is a song that we're working with. And you can see that I've already got tracks but I don't have any MIDI information for it. This is greyed out. So this is a song with MIDI. This is a song without MIDI. So I'm going to click on the MIDI icon and it's going to take me to the MIDI edit page inside Living Hope ready for me to upload or create my own MIDI files. The first thing I need to do is add a MIDI bus. So I'm going to click add MIDI bus and I'm going to tell multitracks.com that I want to add a lyrics bus because this is my lyric MIDI information. So I click on lyrics and at this window I can either type in the time code and the MIDI notes for each command that I want to add or because I've already created the file I can simply upload it. So I'm going to click upload MIDI file and I can drag and drop or I can browse to my desktop and click on the MIDI file for Living Hope and it's going to import all of the cues straight away with all of the correct time code into this MIDI bus. Now you can see the first note is happening at five seconds into the song and it's G negative one velocity one. So we know from our other videos that that is the go to slide number one. And then down through the timeline, we've got the time code, go to slide two, slide three, slide four, so on, all the way down through the song. Now, all I simply need to do now is back back out to library and next time I search for Living Hope, you'll see that Living Hope now has the MIDI icon next to this. So now if I will go to playback and download Living Hope, the MIDI run of information is going to come down automatically with the song. Likewise, if I rent the song or if I do this with one of my cloud songs, the same thing's going to happen. So let's say I arrive at rehearsal and I'm playing through the song and I realize that one slide is just a little bit too quick and I need to adjust it. Well, this is how we do this. We come back to our cloud account. We click on the MIDI icon. We find the cue that we're referencing that's a little bit too soon. And often I'll put descriptions in here so I know what each one is. But let's say slide number three is coming in too soon. I can simply come over here and type in the time code that I actually want the cue to appear. So I'm going to move this back a whole second to 23 seconds. Now if I scroll down and click save, it's going to save those changes. It's going to tell me that one cue is updated. And inside playback, I'll get a push notification telling me that the MIDI line is updated. Now I can click accept and it will update. Or I can go to the menu and I can click refresh MIDI cues and it will download the new line of MIDI cues ready to play along with the video. That's how easy it is to upload your pre-created MIDI files to multi-tracks.com.